bro, I'm actually going to have to pay for football because these illegal streams keep cutting out on me, bro. I'm fed up of it, man. Anyway, this video is about all the guys that have wronged me in the past. I was having a highly intellectual conversation with one of my boys a couple years ago. I, was, I remember when I was speaking to him, yeah, I was looking out the window when he was actually talking about life, yeah. He was telling me, listen, Mike, listen, there's some bastards in this world. And you know what? Those words have stuck with me like chewing gum on the streets of London. And this is a lesson for all of the managers and all the players and all the staff and all the owners that want to f*** with me. This is what happened the last time I spoke to Thomas Sangard. Thomas Sangard, I'm going to remember that name, bro. I politely tried to tell people about SpongeBob leaving the water. You probably thought I was telling a joke, but as you can see, video games come to real life all the time. I said I would get my revenge. And we're looking at a farewell message from Thomas Sangard. Didn't take too long, but it looks like he's given a whole paragraph that you already know I am not going to read, bro. Because I don't give a damn about how he feels, bro. Because he didn't give a damn about how I felt when he sacked me after I got them promoted. And then the website that he used to own has the audacity to offer me cookies when I'm on a calorie deficit. Are they alright, bro? Make sure the door don't hit you on the way out, cousin. Good riddance to you, my friend. Yeah? Hashtag no refunds. We don't want to see him again, bruv. Even the Charlton fans in the comment section were telling me that this guy's a Oh, we're so happy he's gone, bro. <laughs> yeah, mate. Don't mess about, cousin. <laughs> I'm going to do one of these every year. Because the next enemy that I've made, similar to when Tyson Fury was saying it when he was staring down the soul of the camera, it's personal between me and you. <laughs> I swear down, this guy, I don't know. I don't think I've beat him more than twice. And we've played each other at least five times. He's come to my home in Benfica and slept eight past my goalkeeper. And he doesn't think it's personal. Oh, it's on. Yeah, he's awoken a beast that plays free at the back now. We're coming for this guy, Sergio Cons... Hey, listen, it's a beautiful name. It's a shame I can't pronounce it. But still... Stat-wise, he looks phenomenal, and I am actually kind of honoured to get slapped up by this, because it is a bit of a wake-up call, you know, you're not the best. There's people that are be better than you, better than you, and I just have to accept that this guy, I'm currently 5-1 down, and I need to make a comeback, because it's embarrassing. Me and the fans, we're embarrassed right now, so we need to, hey, we need to bounce back, bro. Don't have it. Slap him back, because he slapped you up eight times in a row. The third enemy that I've made in Football Manager 2023 is Aurelio De Laurentiis. Let me just set the scene, yeah? I'm on holiday getting a tan, by the way. My phone rings. Yeah, you're done, mate. You're done. That's the first things that I hear. And then I look and my job's gone. And man sacked me while I'm on holiday, bro. Saying that I'm done. That I'm finished. I, I didn't even get to say goodbye to my players. I didn't get to say anything to anyone. And he got rid of me, bro on holiday that is some cold ass <laughs> i'm sorry man that is cold bro that guy is ice cool bro he's got ice running through his veins no soul no empathy just pure psychopathic energy he is on strictly violence and i don't think i can get revenge on this guy because i'm not going back to napoli again but i will say if we meet each other in champions league oh it's up Ah, yeah, your team, I'm going to have to take out my anger on your players, bro. Everyone's getting stuck in, everyone's tackling harder. If man are getting stretched out, I'll just be like, listen, officer, my name is Mr. Maponda. I just landed here. I'm not involved. Don't bring me into any of your shenanigans. That's also my second name. Don't bring me into any of your problems. <laughs> Next enemy that I made in Football Manager 2023 yeah, is this. 12 tackling mother chucker that tried to gang up on me when I just arrived as the Benfica manager. Alex Grimaldo, I've lost all respect for this guy and if I do a Football Manager 2024 save with Benfica, take a guess as to who my first player that I get rid of will be. Because it's not going to be too hard. He's going to be thinking, hold on, I just met you, why am I already on the transfer list? Meanwhile, similar to Lord Raiden, I've come from an alternate reality already knowing his true colours. I am getting rid of this mother chucker, 5 foot 7, 12 tackling guy that gets spun defensively and didn't even do anything for me going forward. I am forever against this guy in this game. I will never forgive him for what he did to me. Don't let me see you again. And if I, if I ever come up against you in Champions League, Europa League, God forbid, 
I am going to destroy you with my dribblers out wide. All of my wingers, I'll tell them, listen, attack that guy over there. Please just attack him, bro. Whether that's with the ball or without the ball, just give him a little elbow to the ribs. Leave one on him, bro. Remember who he was disrespecting, bro. I feel like a mafia boss when in reality nobody gives a damn about me. <laughs> and the final enemy that I've made for Football Manager 2023 is Mill as a whole because I managed them. And I think I'll put it down to the board, in fact. Not just Mill, just the board. It went pretty much like this. Step into the office. They saw my black face. Immediately, tension started rising. And then I heard them whispering, saying, Forget this, we can do a lot better than this. And then, yeah, they were like, listen, we've got that chocolate brand on our shirt, but we didn't sign up for a manager with the same kind of thing going on. So let's get rid of this guy. In fact, you know what? Let's not even give this guy a budget. You know what? Do you know what they did to me? They gave me their team. I tried to extend the budget and they didn't want to extend the budget. So I forced the exit. I told them, listen, I don't think I'm good enough to continue my job here unless you give me money to actually bolster my team. They didn't want to do that, so instead, I got the F out of there. And I would love to go back there in Football Manager 2024, as long as they give me money. You better pay me some money to get some players, or forever be my enemy. And if we see you in the championship, it won't be too hard. It's Millwall. Actually, you know, they're actually pretty good now. Maybe. Who cares? Have a great day.